G'day guys and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by AutoCADTrainingBlog.com This one here is going to show the fillet command. Now the fillet command basically adds a radius to your edges which is fantastic for any designers or craftsmen out there because you obviously on most things you don't want sharp edges. Okay, so and it's much easier than rounding in 2D. Uh, rounding in 2D, you have to put um, arcs, that sort of thing on. Whereas this sort of thing, you basically just select your edges and AutoCAD does it for you, which is very nifty. Okay, so we'll go through. We are in 3D modeling mode and we're in the conceptual visual style. Okay, so we'll choose a box and we will just make it um, arbitrary arbitrary lengths and widths and, and about 150 high it's not a big deal we're just trying to demonstrate the point and then what we'll do is we will orbit around that to try and get a bit of a view of some edges and we will zoom in okay we'll pan across done okay now what we do is we just type fillet like a fillet of fish and hit enter. Now we select the first object because we're working on a 3D solid. This will just be, we can choose that edge there and it has selected that face there. So then we enter fillet radius. So the radius we want on our fillet and we will choose 25. Okay, now we can select an edge or as down here, you can choose a chain and what a chain does is it's similar to the chamfer command loop command and then what it does is it actually does all the edges on the selected face so that's a nifty way to get out of selecting all of them okay so we'll just uh, choose an edge first just to demonstrate the process and hit enter and there we go as you can see it's now filleted that edge Okay, now we will do the chain command. So we will fill it again. We will select our object there. Hit enter for a radius of 25. And now we will choose the chain command. And then radius 25. Okay, so there we go. It has done all of those edges. What we'll do is we'll just try that one again. So it wasn't quite what I was after, but we'll orbit around and we'll choose a different face. We'll choose this face over here. Okay, we'll fill it. And select the face. 25 and then we will chain C for chain select the chain and there we go so it has done those edges okay now we'll just orbit around that to show the final result so as you can see it's a very nifty command for designing in 3d Hope you enjoyed this one and head over to autocadtrainingblog.com for more video tutorials to help you on your way with AutoCAD. Thanks guys.